All right, ladies and gentlemen, hang on just a second, please. Hang on just a second, folks. Mr. Matthews here. I want to go ahead and be on record as saying that tonight you are scheduled to take on Jimmy Karen in this ring. The winner would advance to Ascension to Greatness and join the semifinals, taking the last open semifinal spot for the Horizon Cup Tournament. However, we're not exactly sure why. We don't exactly have a reason as to why, but for some reason, Jimmy Carrot chose not to appear tonight. So without any further ado, because Jimmy Carrot fails to appear at a contractually obligated event like this, the only course of action is to go ahead and award you the match and give you and give you the open semi-final spot at Ascension to Greatness. So would you please raise his hand? Let's make it official. The winner of this match, Aaron. All due respect. With all due respect, you guys didn't pay your two dollars to see somebody fight tonight. You also pay $2 to see Aaron Mackey kick the whole living crap out of Jimmy Carrot. But as she said, he's a chicken. I'm not, I, I laced up my boots. I put the girls on my tights. I got my little stringy thing, and I'm ready to fight somebody. So, you better do something. Uh, there's not much I can do. I, I explained to you, it's not my call. You won the match. The music. Let me tell you a little story. You see, earlier tonight, my spot in this tournament was stolen from me by some little miscreant who calls himself Sage. So, if you came here to fight, to earn a spot in a tournament that was STOLEN FROM ME! Then I see no further course of action than to ask you if you will put your spot on the line against me. Then let the game begin. Joey O'Reilly, my guest here this week. Oh! 
This is a match we weren't expecting to see. I didn't really plan on seeing the Warden take on Aaron Matthews. Two improv two challenges tonight we've seen. Warden here, I don't exactly understand. Somebody please shed some light on this. Is he the Warden? Is it Phage? I don't know what's going on here. I, I don't know. He's got a completely different mask on than he had last week. Aaron Matthews had the opportunity to just gain a victory over Jimmy Carrot, who did not show up here in his scheduled matchup against Aaron Matthews. He was not present. But Aaron says, nuh uh, if I'm gonna get the spot, I'm gonna get it fighting my way to it. Whoever wins this matchup will be joining the likes of Bo Sawyer, Tornado Jones, and Mark Vandy at Ascension to Greatness in the semifinals. Two. Only gains a two count here. The Warden Furious saying his spot was stolen in the Horizon Cup by Phage, it's complete, I just don't understand it. How did Phage steal the Warden's spot? This is all weird. I, I, I don't know. Ooh, shot to the neck. It's yet to be seen if this is gonna be a Pardon my language, a dumb decision on the part of Aaron Matthews. Like I said, he had the victory in hand. It was a forfeit victory, yes, but it was a guarantee to go to Ascension of Greatness. Would you have done the same thing if you were in the same opportunity? I mean... Yeah, I mean, Aaron's just like me. He's a fighter. I like to fight. We don't like anything handed to us. We want to show that we can earn and prove that we deserve to be where we are. Oh! The force of that Irish whip sends him up and over the top rope to the floor. The Warden is angry here tonight, and he's showcasing it. Fans in the front row might want to watch out. Ooh! Shoulder first into that steel post. And there's no mats on the outside of the ring, folks. That is just solid concrete they're falling on. Warden now leading on the offense, puts him up on the top rope. I feel that Warden is more violent than Phage. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about it. The Warden is... Oh, flip over, neck breaker! Pin attempt! I want to say he's like Jim Carrey off Me, Myself, and Irene. That's, that's actually a good assumption. I, I never thought of it like that. When he gets mad, Hank comes out and takes care of business. Oh! Speaking of taking care of business, I think Aaron Matthews' business just got taken care of. He hurt those pretty girls on his tights. Wait a minute, what's the warden going for here? Oh, heading up to no man's land. Keep in mind, John Stone, that like me, Aaron Matthews is very comfortable on that top rope. Oh, vertical suplex from the second rope. Maybe not that comfortable. Well, he's comfortable when he's supplying the offense, but taking it is another. I'm taking those superplexes. They don't feel good. Aaron Matthews, like you said, wait a minute. An attempt here could have it. Oh, with a two count now, just a punch to the face. Does it again like he's getting angry that Aaron won't stay down. Aaron Matthews, he wants to fight his way into the semifinals. The Warden believes that his spot was stolen by Phage of all people. How that happened, I'll never know. Wait a second. Wait a second, do you hear that? That's, that's Phage's music. That's Phage's music. Wait, Aaron rolls him up into a crucifix pin. Aaron got him. Joey, Phage's music going off 
while the warden is in the ring, causing him to lose to Aaron Matthews here tonight? What is this? I he may be playing mind games with himself. Somebody give us a clue here. No! 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 Shut up! This has gone on long enough! Maybe we'll get the answer here. For the last couple weeks, this has been a thorn in my side. A thorn I put in the ground earlier this year and I've had enough! <laughs> there is only one course of action for this. And you know what it is, Fage. An ascension to greatness. I want you in this room. We are putting an end to this tragedy once. And for all, if you've got the gut! What? The Warden just challenged Phage to a match? What? How is that even possible? I... Uh, this is strange. I don't understand what's going on here. Hey everybody, I'm a Rocket Grunt Josh, and welcome back to my Until Dawn Minecraft Story Mode Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge. Live and learn. Live and learn, guys. It's Sanic. Sanic Bursley is straight up MLG Pro. No, he's not okay. He's pretty halved. He's been halved pretty bad. So, with that, I will see every Body next time. Goodbye. 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 Crowd here not taking too kindly to the corn fed beast. Of course, he's a man you have quite a history with. Long now that you idiots are done. A couple months ago, a guy came to me. Let's not forget, I kind of said I see a lot of potential, a lot of wasted talent. That you did. That I was skimming long, just drifting for UWC. Keep it up, idiot! Keep it up, idiots! I don't care. I'm gonna get out what I'm gonna say. A gift. And y'all forgot I got a gift. Anger's my gift. And over the last couple weeks, I've been sharing my gift with people like Sean Wright, people like Jason B. It's not cute anymore. Shut up. So basically what I'm here to tell you people, all you people, Ascension to Greatness, we all in the tournament now. It's me. It's Aaron Matthew. It's Tornado Jones. And it's Mark Vandy. And I'm here to tell you goobers, right here, right now, I got no problem. champion and ain't nobody, I mean nobody, is going to stop me. And if you idiots want to do about, go right ahead and try.
UWC Online. New episodes every Monday. YouTube.com slash UWC Georgetown. Well, I'm standing by here with the champion, Blake Reed, a dominant champion since you won that title several months ago. But I have a question that I need to ask you. It's been, it's been on everybody's minds. Joey O'Reilly, is he a legitimate threat to this title? A threat to this title? You know what, John? So I was tired of you, everybody in the back, every all these stupid fans talking about Joey O'Reilly being a threat to this title. To answer the question, no, he's not a threat. Okay, he's not a threat, but it is on record. He did pin you several weeks ago. Well, let me take you back a few weeks. I'm pretty sure if you go back to UWC Online or if you go back to Heat Is On, I pinned Joey O'Reilly not once, but twice. All right, that's... That's, that's commendable, that's fair, but since you're, you don't believe he's a threat, does that mean that you're going to willingly give him what he asked for and a shot at the title? One word answer, no! time here at UWC Online, two men that you know very, very well. Of course, I'm talking about your tag team partner, Tornado Jones. TJ, as the, the crowd likes to chant a lot, they love saying, let's go TJ. And the man that you challenged, but he keeps refusing your challenge, Blake Reed. TJ may be a little guy, but the guy has a lot of heart. He has a big heart. Oh! You talk about little guy, you can definitely see the size difference matched up right now. Tornado Jones, probably a buck 15, maybe a buck 25 on a good day. Standing next to 320 plus pounds of current champ. Blake Reed, drop kick to the face, sends the champion to the outside. TJ will hit you with anything he can to get you off your feet. Uh-oh. Ooh! Very smart there on the part of Blake Reed, tripping him up, pulling him to the outside, and ramming him into the ring there. You know, the only chance that TJ has to win this match is to gain momentum, because without momentum, it's like hitting a, a semi-truck with a pinto. Oh, definitely. And let's make it official. The title is not on the line in this match. This is not for the UWC Championship. Squeezing the head in the mask area, tosses it back into the ring. Wait a second! Oh! Suicide dive to the outside! Can't keep him down, can't keep him down. Going for a second! Hits the second, but Blake Reed's still on his feet on the outside! Here comes the triple! Champions down! Three suicide dives. You taught him well, Joey! I do what I can. The crowd here loving it. Chance of that was awesome. Springboarding back in. Big body splash. Only gets a one count though. Bounce off the ropes here. Lifts him up. Oh, pops him up and catches him in the Samoan drop. You know, we've seen over the last several weeks, Tornado Jones has gained victories over former champions like Jimmy Carrot and Cecil Cerveza. But what would it mean if in a non-title affair, Tornado Jones gains the upset victory over the current champion? Like I said last week, Blake Reed is not a monster. He is a man. I've proved that before. He can be beaten, you just have to have the right tools to do it. Oh my gosh! You remember what I said earlier, that's 320 pounds coming down across the back and the throat of Tornado Jones. He's almost just toying with him right now. Blake Reed, the self-proclaimed Mr. UWC, also known as the Agent of Bash. 
That's an illegal move, isn't it? Oh, definitely. He's using the ropes for leverage. Mike Underwood was trying to count him down to get him to let go, and he finally did. Lloyd Freed over the last several weeks trying to showcase that he is incredibly dominant. Tornado Jones fighting back. Ooh! He's got him in the corner. Oh! Tornado Jones is just a few weeks away from competing in the semifinals of the Horizon Cup Tournament at Ascension to Greatness. And as we stand right now, Blake Reed isn't even on the card. He doesn't even have a, a person to defend the title against. We'll have if I have anything to say about it. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, and he just drops him down. You can see the power on Blake. It is. It's almost like he's just toying with this young kid. Over the last several weeks, Blake Reed's been victorious in many matches, although it's been shady, underhanded tactics, usually involving the championship title belt itself. He hit me with it a few weeks ago in that big man scramble match. Exactly. I went a suicide dive and I ended up on the floor. Exactly, and he also clobbered Aaron Matthews in the face with it not too long ago. I believe you were at ringside for that one. Wait a minute, they're gonna run in. TJ rolls out of the way. Drop kick to the face. There's a second. Oh. Did you teach him the drop kick? I did not. That's something he came up with in the phone. Running in Zagiri. I don't throw many drop kicks. Champion's down to one knee. And he's down all the way if he can just roll over his massive frame and get his shoulders down. Two count on the champion, even though the title is not on the line. You know, John Stone, it's almost like since Blake Reed's been pinned, he's almost scared that he knows he can be pinned again. Uh-oh, wait a second. What's he going for? Oh, he shoves him off. Stern him first into that turnbuckle. Blake Reed needs to catch his breath right now. Whoa! Tornado Jones waiting with a boot to the face. Launches in, going for like a... Oh, he counters out of it! What a maneuver! This could be his opportunity. Oh! Nice springboard moves out there! Oh, he barely got his shoulder up in two. You noticed that. I did. I thought that was over. I, I didn't teach him that. TJ can't even believe it. Tornado Jones. He's screaming it was three. The crowd's trying to say it was three. Sadly, it was not. The champion did get his shoulder up. He's going to go for it again. Oh! That massive frame colliding with him. Pops him up. The Papa Power Bomb! He hit you with that on multiple occasions! Blake Green hits the Papa Power Bomb, gains the victory. That's a move that you know very well. I've taken it a lot of times. It doesn't feel good. Here you are. Blake Green! Blake Green victorious with that Papa Power Bomb. And wait a second. Joey O'Reilly has left the announce booth. Hang on a second, Mike. One of my devices is going off over here. I got it. Joey O'Reilly's heading down to the ring. I'm, I'm getting messages right now. I... Oh no, he's looking at hitting. Is he gonna hit Tornado Jones with that title? Joey, grab the belt! Joey's got the belt. He just stopped something tragic from happening. Hang on a sec, wait.
gets his shot at taking the title away from Blake Reed. And Blake Reed, he can lose the title on a disqualification. This is going to have to be, we're going to have to figure out more information about this in the coming weeks ahead. Until then, thank you very much for joining us for this edition of UWC Online. Until next time, we'll see you then.